Did you get your Upwork account suspended? If you click this video, most likely you want to know why, and of course you want your Upwork account back. Hey there, my name is Lila and I'm going to talk about Upwork account suspension. I'll cover why does your Upwork account get suspended, what happens when your account is suspended, and how can you appeal and get your account active again. I'll go through the most common reasons Upwork suspends freelancers account. I will leave timestamps in the video so you can skip to the section that you want to watch. Let's get started. First, I want to make it clear. This video is for freelancers who are not located in Russia or Belarus. This means all freelancers outside of Russia and Belarus. Why does your Upwork account get suspended? First of all, it's important to know that Upwork has a strict set of policies and guidelines that all freelancers must follow. If you violate any of these policies, your account may be suspended or even permanently banned. And here are the most common reasons why Upwork suspends freelancers' account. One of the most common reasons is having two accounts or multiple accounts. Having more than one Upwork account is not allowed and can result in the suspension of all your accounts. If your accounts get suspended, try to solve it with support, Upwork support. Don't be tempted to open another account, not even with a friend or family member's name. You risk getting all your accounts suspended or even permanently banned if they find out. And you won't be able to draw your money from the platform. The second reason your account might be suspended if you use a VPN or third-party website or software to boost your profile in any way. If you use any method to manipulate your profile, you can get your account suspended. The third reason is manipulating your profile with methods like paying for reviews or fake feedback. I've seen on groups, on social media groups, people asking for, for fake reviews, paid or unpaid. The fourth reason is submitting your work from a different device. Upwork system is designed to detect any changes in device or IP address, so submitting work from one device or location that's different from where you worked can trigger the suspension. So let's say if you started to work on a computer and then decided to submit the work from your phone, mobile phone, this is a no-no. Just submit the work from the device you start to work with. The, the fifth reason is self-hiring. If you hire yourself as a freelancer using your client account, it's considered a violation of Upwork policies. Again, I've seen people doing this or, or asking if they can do it. The answer is no, you can't do it. The sixth reason is if you add payment details that are not on your name, you will be in trouble. So try to, to do things by the book. The seventh. If you apply to a scammer client, you might think, how can I know if the client is a scammer? I have a video about scammers clients on Upwork that you can check in the description and I'll put a card here as well. If you apply to a client who asks you to do anything that's against Upwork's policies, can lead to your account being suspended. Upwork also might suspend your account due to suspicious activity. For example, if you log in and it fails multiple times. It happens to all of us. Sometimes you forget your password or something like that. Try to give it some time before trying to log in again. Or unusual changes to user profile or payment information. So anything you do that's dodgy, you just try to stay away from. Another reason why your account might be suspended if you work hourly and you try to log in your hours using the Upwork desktop app. Some freelancers use auto-click software or apps that are computer programs on or mobile application that automatically simulate mouse clicks or taps on a device screen. So if you manipulate the clicks to log in hours, this gets your account suspended. The 11th point is Accounts may be suspended due to violation of Upwork's terms of service or community standards. So try to read the Upwork terms of service. I'll put the link in the description. Another thing is, if you violate Upwork policies, and you get suspended and then you appeal, you get it activated and you violate Upwork policies again, this will get your Upwork permanently banned. Now, part two. What happens when your account is suspended? If your account is suspended, you won't be able to access any of your projects, proposals or earnings. So your profile will be also hidden from clients, so you won't be able to bid on any new project until your account is active again. To appeal the suspension, you need to submit a ticket to Upwork customer support team. They will review your case and provide you with steps to follow to get your account active again. So before we get to how to appeal, let's give you some tips 
They might be obvious to, for some of you, but I'm, I must go through them quickly before we go to the steps on how to appeal the suspension and get your account active again. So here are the tips to avoid suspension. The best way to avoid suspension is to know and follow Upwork's policies and guidelines. This is obvious, but I have to repeat it again. And here are some of the tips to help you avoid the suspension. Always be honest and transparent in your work and communication with clients. Don't engage in any activities that's against Upwork's policies, even if clients ask you to do so. Use your real name and information when creating your account and submitting proposals. Avoid using any methods to manipulate your profile or feedback. And the last, not least, be professional in your work and communication with clients. Now to appeal an Upwork account suspension, follow these steps. Log in to your Upwork account and go to the Help Center. Click on Contact Support and then submit a request. Select Appeal Suspension as the request type and fill out the required information, including your name, email address and a description of the situation. To successfully appeal an account suspension, you must provide a clear explanation of the situation and show that you understand and you will comply with Upwork's policies moving forward. So be sure to include all relevant details on your appeal, such as the reason you believe your account was suspended, if you know it, any actions you have taken to address the issue, and any additional information that might help Upwork understand your situation. Then all you have to do is wait for a response from Upwork. They may request additional information or ask for clarification on certain points before making a decision on your appeal. So give them all the information they need. And here's an example of the questions Upwork gave to one of the freelancers. And obviously you have to answer one by one. Now let me give you an example of appeal letter. I will leave a link to the letter in the description so you can copy it. I'm writing to appeal the suspension of my freelance account on Upwork. I was surprised to receive notice that my account had been suspended and I was not aware of any violation of Upwork policies and community standards. And as I said, I'll leave it for you to read and copy whatever is relevant in your case. And obviously print your name, but that, this is the very formal version of it. I have an informal one if you prefer. The informal one starts like this. Hi there. I was surprised to see my Upwork account sus got suspended and I'm not sure why this happens. I really need my account to be active again. Can you please let me know what went wrong? And if there's anything I did wrong, I'll make sure not to do it again in the future. And thanks for your help. Best regards and then write your name. After you send the appealing form, give them at least 48 hours to review and reply back to you. Now make sure to answer all the questions if they ask you any and try to answer them in the order they ask. I hope you get your account active again if it was suspended. And just a quick reminder, getting your Upwork account suspended can be a nightmare, but it is avoidable by knowing or following Upwork policies and guidelines, being honest and transparent in your work and avoiding any activity that's against Upwork policies. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.